Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Etude Opus Number 10, Number 4 by Chopin, okay? So it's pretty awesome, give you a slow preview before we start learning so you know what to expect in this. Check it out. Okay, so that's a slow preview for it. So it's supposed to be about like two to about three times faster than this. So it's all about like getting all the like uh, fingers into place and just getting used to all the positionings and it should be all good. But anyway, we'll break up the lessons into eight parts so it's easier to learn, okay? Small digestible um, parts, okay? So here we go. First part for the right hand starts on the G sharp octave. Middle C is here. So G sharp and the octave above G sharp. And then down to F sharp, E. D sharp and then C sharp octave and then D sharp C C sharp D sharp E C sharp D sharp E F sharp D sharp E F sharp G sharp E F sharp okay and that's it for the right hand for the first part those are the notes okay let's do it again so it goes G sharp octave and then F sharp E D sharp C sharp octave D sharp C C sharp D sharp E C sharp D sharp E F sharp D sharp E F sharp G sharp E F sharp like that. That's it for the right hand. Left hand is what we have to so start on the G sharp octave here. So middle C down to the G sharp octave here, down to C sharp octave, and then more than an octave jump up to double note F sharp A E G sharp double note D sharp F sharp double note. Yeah. And that's it for the left hand for the first part. Let's do it again. So G sharp octave, down to C sharp octave, up to F sharp A double note, E G sharp double note, D sharp F sharp double note. That's it for the first part. Okay, two hands together. It goes like this. So it goes together, 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 together. Like that, there you go, that's the first part. One more time, so it goes together, 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 together. That's it for the first part. Moving on to the second part now, right hand continues. It goes G sharp, A, G sharp, up to C sharp, down to F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, up to C sharp, down to E, F sharp, E, up to C sharp, down to D sharp, E, D sharp, up to C sharp. As you can see, there is a pattern of this. It's like three notes plus C sharp and another three notes plus C sharp, okay? That's something to keep in mind and looking when you're playing because it will help you a lot because uh, with these patterns, uh, when it's fast, it's hard to kind of like look at every individual note. You kind of have to see the patterns in it to learn it quicker, okay? Anyways, one more time, it goes G sharp, A, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, E, C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, okay? Just like that, so da 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 da, like that. So that C sharp at the top there is something to kind of like pivot around. Okay, but anyways, left hand. This is what we have. We have double note C sharp E. Then we have triple note A C sharp F sharp. Then we have triple note G sharp C sharp E. And we have another triple note F sharp C sharp D sharp. And that's it for the four elements for this left hand. Let's do it again. So double note C sharp E. Triple note A, C sharp, F sharp. Triple note G sharp, C sharp, E. Triple note F sharp, C sharp, D sharp. Just like that. Two hands together goes like this. So it goes every four notes together with the left hand. So together, 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 together. Yeah, okay. The left hand's pretty easy here. It's just every four notes, okay? So just like that. So together, 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 together. And that's it for the second part. Okay, so there you have it. Now moving on to the third part. Okay, the third part, right hand continues. This part is kind of hard for people with smaller hands because pretty large uh, stretches and jumps. So it goes C sharp, up to G sharp, up to the E, down to A, down to C, up to F sharp, up to D sharp, G sharp, and down to, uh, what a great, C, uh, G sharp, up to E. Up to C sharp, F sharp, down to G sharp, up to D sharp, up to C, 
you're going to E, like that. So it's jumping all over the place, and people with smaller hands, you just ha really have to like jump quick for this and just stretch a bit more. So like leave like the second note to pivot around, so it's easier to kind of like just move around the first and second note out of the every four group note, like group of four of notes. Okay, so like this, check it out. So you get your G sharp here and you're gonna pivot. Then that's the next group of four notes. This pivot around the F sharp. And then same for the next group, pivot on the E, and then same, pivot on the D sharp, like that, so, yeah, that's the only way, this is, like, this third part is a little bit harder to do, okay, but anyways, that's the right hand, same for the left hand, it's pretty hard here, we have some, like, big arpeggios, <laughs> it goes, first of all, we have a triple note, um, like, roll, arpeggio roll, it goes C sharp, G sharp, E, okay, yeah, and then we roll from G sharp, F sharp, C, and then roll from C sharp, E, C sharp. Actually, no need to roll, and then G sharp, um, octave. Just like that. Okay, one more time. So, roll from C sharp, G sharp, E, and then roll from G sharp, F sharp, C, and then triple note, C sharp, E, C sharp, and then G sharp octave. Just like that. Two hands together goes like this. So it goes every four notes uh, is the left hand together. So it goes together, 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 together. There you go. Let's do it again. So it goes together, 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 together. And that's it for the third part. Okay, now let's move on to the fourth part, okay? So fourth part, right hand continues, go C sharp octave. And then down to A, up to the octave above A, down to G sharp, octave above G sharp, down to G, octave above G, and then down to G sharp, and then octave above G sharp, down to the lower middle C sharp, and then up to octave above C sharp. And then we have this pretty big chord for smaller hands, you might have to roll this, but uh, f uh, you should be able to press it in one go because this is how it is. So it goes C sharp, D sharp, G, A sharp, D sharp. So this is actually one, two, three, four, five notes. Okay. So what you want to do is your thumb, uh, you play both C sharp and D sharp together on the side like that. Okay. So some of you guys might be struggling to just reach it, but just uh, if you can't reach it, just play the thumb two notes and then roll up like that. So best to actually press it like that okay anyway so let's do it again so c sharp octave and then we have like these octave like uh separate octaves so a separate g sharp separate g separate g sharp separate down to c sharp separate and then the big chord like that just like that so dun, 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 dun. like that pretty awesome that's it for the right hand there left hand is what we have we have c sharp octave up to a octave G sharp octave, G octave, G sharp octave, down to C sharp octave, and then it goes D sharp octave, and then C sharp, B, A sharp, like that. Just like that for the left hand. So one more time, it goes C sharp octave, up to A octave, G sharp octave, G octave, G sharp octave, C sharp octave, D sharp octave, and then C sharp, B, A sharp. Two hands together for this part, a little bit more complicated because more stuff happening here. So it goes together, together. Together, 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 like that, just like that. Okay, one more time. So it goes together, 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 together. That's it for this fourth part. Now let's move on to the fifth part. Okay, fifth part continues like this. Right hand uh, takes over, kind of like the chordal, and then the left hand kind of takes on the like kind of like the melody. It's interesting, swapped around. Pretty awesome stuff. Anyway, right hand starts on four notes, quadruple note, B, D sharp, G sharp, B. And then we have triple note, C sharp, D sharp, G. And then triple note, B, D sharp, G sharp. And then triple note, C sharp, E, G sharp. That's it for the right hand for this fifth part. One more time, it goes tri uh, quadruple note, B, D sharp, G sharp, B. Triple note, C sharp, D sharp, G. Triple note, B, D sharp, G sharp. And then triple note, C sharp, E, G sharp. Like that for the right hand. Left hand is what we have, so it goes single notes, so G sharp, A sharp, G, G sharp, A sharp, B, G sharp, 
A sharp B, C sharp, A sharp B, C sharp, D sharp, B, C sharp. So you can see this left hand melody is like from the start. It's pretty awesome stuff. Okay, so let's do it again. This goes G sharp, A sharp, G, G sharp, A sharp, B, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, B, C sharp. It's just modulated. Okay, the start starts off with the. Uh, it's more a C sharp minor tonality, and then this one is more like a G sharp minor tonality. So from. Like that. Two hands together goes like this. So once again. Every four notes this time the right hand is played together with the left hand four notes. So it goes together, 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 together. That's it for the this part. So it goes together, 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 together. Yeah. Some of you guys might be struggling with the left hand uh, playing faster because normally people are better and um, with the right hand playing the notes because melody they normally do the melodies with the right hand. So this is a good practice to actually get this left hand good, okay? Because now the left hand kind of takes on the fast part, so. so it takes on like agility and strength of the left hand fingers. And also control as well because the speed, because sometimes you'd be like fast and slow, that would be not good. It would be like like none of that so make sure it's all even like that okay anyway now let's move on to the sixth part okay so sixth part right hand continues triple notes b d sharp g sharp and then triple note c sharp e g sharp double note d sharp g sharp triple note c sharp d sharp a sharp like that okay let's do it again so b d sharp g sharp triple note triple note c sharp e g sharp double note d sharp g sharp Triple note, C sharp, D sharp, A sharp. Like that. Okay, so. Okay, left hand is what we have. So we have single notes, it goes uh, D sharp, E, D sharp, up to G sharp, down to C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, up to G sharp, down to B, C sharp, B, up to G sharp, down to A sharp, B, A sharp, up to G. Just like that. It's kind of like. Uh, you kind of learned this theme already from the second part. But anyways, it's changed to a different key here. So it goes D sharp, E, D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, B, G sharp, A sharp, B, A sharp, G. Like that. Okay. Slightly different because of that um, the change in note in the last note of the left hand. Okay. Whilst the second part it doesn't change, it always goes as stays on the C sharp so yeah well it differentiates the left hand a little bit from that second part you can say okay anyway two hands together goes like this really easy left hand four notes uh, and then right hand comes in every of the first note of the four notes so it goes together 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 like that just like that so together 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 like that now Moving on to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nearly lost count. <laughs> so many parts. So seventh part, right hand continues. Triple note, B, D sharp, G sharp, B. Oh, not triple, quadruple. So four notes together. Like this. And then triple note up to D sharp, A sharp, D sharp. And then triple note, uh, D sharp, G sharp, B. And then down to triple note, D sharp, A sharp, D sharp. Just like that. So one more time, right hand quadruple note, B, D sharp, G sharp, B, up to triple note, D sharp, A sharp, D sharp, triple note, D sharp, G sharp, B, down to D sharp, A sharp, D sharp, triple note, just like that. All right, so left hand, uh, we kind of have the similar motive as the third part. Okay, so it's a little bit hard, but uh, stretchy. Okay, so with smaller hands, you would need to do that pivoting thing with that second note, every of the four note. Uh, phrases so it goes like this so low G sharp up to E up to B down to D sharp down to G up to E A sharp down to D sharp and back down to G sharp E B up to D sharp down to G and then E and then once again A sharp D sharp okay this well this is kind of easier than the third part because it's kind of like repeating itself okay so it's like this Basically, the first eight notes, you just repeat those first eight notes to make the total of 16 notes of this particular part. Okay, just like that. G sharp, E, B, D sharp, G, E, A sharp, D sharp, B. Like that, so. So they're pivoted on every second note. Like that, 
okay turn together like this is every uh first note of every four notes on the left hand right hand comes in together so it goes like this together 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 like that so playing it together it's very straightforward but it's just the um technical like agility that's required and the speed okay so together 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 like that Moving on to the eighth and last part of this lesson, of this section, right hand continues, goes triple note D sharp, G sharp, B. And then it goes E, G, D sharp, G sharp, G, A sharp, F sharp, B, A, C, G sharp, C sharp, C, D sharp, C sharp. That's it. Okay, so yeah, let's do it again. So triple note D sharp, G sharp, B. And then we have individual notes. This part is pretty awesome. I like this part. It goes E, G, D sharp, G sharp, G, A sharp, F sharp, B, A, C, G sharp, C sharp, C, D sharp, C sharp. Wait, D sharp and then C sharp, yeah. I was playing the right notes, but I just got confused. So like this. D sharp, C sharp, like that. Okay, left hand goes G sharp octave. Up to C sharp, B, up to E, D sharp, F sharp, E, and then triple note G sharp D sharp F sharp and then double note C sharp E like that that's the left hand let's do it again so it goes G sharp octave and then C sharp B E D sharp F sharp E and then a triple note G sharp D sharp F sharp and then double note C sharp E like that two hands together goes like this just goes together 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 so yeah pretty much every two notes there, so it's a bit harder, faster, more coordination required. So together, like that. So every two notes there. So after this one, it's every two notes. So it goes together, 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 together. Yeah, and there you go. That's pretty much it. Okay, so yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed this lesson. By the way, if you want to learn more Chopin songs on my channel, just search uh, Chopin and then like Amos Doll Piano Tutorials on YouTube in the search bar and you'll find the other ones to learn for yourself. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.